Okay, so what we're going to do today is trying to change our Oracle SID database SID uh, from what we currently have right now to something else. So currently our Oracle SID is home and we are going to update that to home one. So so uh, right now we have home set as Oracle SID and we want to change it to one so how do we do that so well we have to first of all log into our database and create a p file from the sp file so let's go ahead and do that first so sql plus sys as sys dba and create p file from the sp file Okay, so step one is done and then we ha have to I guess uh, yeah we have to take the database down we have to shut down the database and the listener as well so let's do that as well plus sys uh, sysdba shut down shut oops shut immediate so let the let the database uh, have some time to shut itself down so database is already dismounted see let's wait for a bit So the database is down. Let's exit and take the listener down. LSNR CTL stop. Okay. So we also stop the listener and then yeah, we have to take the database to a mount stage. Let's take let's do that. SQL plus uh sys uh sysdba startup mount so yeah the next step would be to use the nid tool which is available to us from Oracle it will let us change the database name db name from home to home okay so yeah we're going to do that and then we're going to update the p file listen all the configuration files then start the listener open the database and we should be good to go okay so we took the database to mount stage then run the in id tool so in id so you can also check what are the available options of in id with the help command so you have to give the target so meaning the username and password so you can just give it the username and the password just it to connect to the database and then we have to give the db name okay db name is the name of the new database name so the updated database name in our case that should be home one so let's write the command down target is sys and the db name is home one so this is the updated oracle sid home one previously we had home as our sid oops if oracle sid home we could also have changed it from there you know sys context function but you know, let's continue with our task okay so let's change it and it is asking for the password of sys just let me give the password as well so it is asking me to confirm whether it will go ahead with the necessary changes let me confirm with y and now it is doing its task of changing the necessary things so yeah so so this is making the necessary changes in the control file and the root dbid okay all these things 
and it also made the database down okay so um, the database should be at uh, you know apparently it should be down we took the database to the mount stage and now it is it has been shut down okay so the database has been shut down okay so database has been shut down open database with reset log option so this is already telling us that the database it, it has taken the database down and if we choose to open it then we have to use the reset log option okay all right so now we have to change the necessary files manually so what are the files p file listener prototab all the configuration files so let's start with the p file we remember the first uh, you know at our very first step we created a p file from this sp file so the server parameter file we created local p file so let's edit that out so cd so dollar home slash dbs and here we have our p file which is init home dot aura so vi init home aura and we want that you know we have to make the necessary changes so home one to home home to home one so previously the sid was home and we want to change it to home one so let's do that okay so we can also you know like you we're currently using vi so we can also choose to replace the all the home keywords to home one globally with just a macro but i would encourage you to do that because there are a couple of homes that we do not want to change okay we will come that shortly okay so these home these words we have to change then there are a couple of homes which are within this directory so if your oracle sid is part of a you know directory then don't change that so we have to uh, leave it at this so it is home so let's leave at that and then the control file so these homes we cannot change as well um then we have dbnm so let's change that and then if our uh, you know uh, a recovery destination db unit name so we have already updated that you know I've, i did that in past which has nothing to do with the current task we're doing so it was already home one updated okay so let's also change the name the listener to listener and it's going to home one and we're pretty much done i guess just recheck quickly yeah we're done okay so do not change the directory the name of the directory and uh, yeah we're pretty much good to go i guess um okay so yeah write and quit so we're done with the init and then let's check let's make the ch uh, some changes to the ura tab file so it should be i guess you know the name of the okay so, so home one so the way the ura tab file is formatted is that it uses oracle sid then colon then oracle home, home and then yes no okay whatever so we have updated that Q. then let's get inside the slash network slash add add the name and here we have two files to update so we'll start with the listener so listener we have listener internal home one internal okay that's not internal so i guess we don't have anything 
to do in this case. We can also add a listener if you, if you, if you want, we can add, but let's leave it that we have nothing to do here. But if you, you know, if you have any, you know, any updates to make, maybe you have created some listener with the you with the name of your Oracle SID and you want to update that, then you can do that here. But we don't have in all this, so let's move on with the TNS name. So change the TNS name to more, and that's it. And also the last one is our bash profile so let's go to the oracle home and we are the bash profile or you know set and whatever so export oracle sid and home one okay home one update it and then execute the bash profile because we want to have our environment variable local SID to get updated with the desired one. So let's check controller Oracle SID and the Oracle SID is updated. So now we should be good to go with you know starting our database. Startup mount. Let's take it to the. Oops. So we have made a mistake. So it is looking for init home one dot aura. But uh, let me just. Okay. So uh, so we have. So it is looking for this um p file. So. The, the mistake that we have made is that we forgot to rename the piece. Okay, so cd into the dbase directory again. So this is the directory, or I guess what we can do is we just start, uh, you know, not cd but mv. Okay, so mv we currently have in it home and update it to this. Now we should be good to go. Start start up mount. Okay, so yeah, so what we did was we uh, uh I'm extremely sorry because my audio was muted. Uh, you know but the step that we followed was you know if you see that error is because we have mistakenly um, skipped a step which is renaming the p file to the updated oracle sid name so just rename the oracle uh, you know the aura file init home the aura to init home one the aura with the updated oracle sid and then take the database to mount stage and it should be okay. okay. And then alter database open reset logs. So we have to open the database in reset log using the reset log option. Okay. So the database is open and we are good to go. We, uh, our Oracle SID should be updated. Let's check it out. So it's SSDB and then select, I guess, says context um, user and instance name from dual. Yeah. So our Oracle SID is updated. Exit. 
down the grip. So we are done with the task. So we have successfully updated our protocol SID from home to home one. Thank you very much for watching the video.